Welcome everyone to Old Roommates. This week on the show, we revisit 1989's Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. So, rev up the telephone booth because our revisit is about to begin. Welcome everyone to Old Roommates, the only podcast that revisits pop culture through a middle-aged lens. This is Christina. And this is Brian. And we are revisiting Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Party on, dude. <laughs> I think what? that's Wayne's World. No, so, <laughs> so it's funny that you say that because okay. I think Matt said that when we were talking about, and I'm like, I think that's Wayne's World. I said the same thing, just yeah. like that. Just like. And they do say it in the movie. And too. they say it in the movie. And Matt and I like looking at each other like, oh my God. Wayne's World stole all this stuff oh. from Bill and Ted. Well, anyway. you're about to dive in. Or it could just be something that people said in the 80s. Yeah, true, true. true. <laughs> so, true. I don't think they coined Party On. Anyway, Brian, we are going to start this episode as we always do. Yes. I would love to know your history with Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Very good. Definitely a rental. But I remember being very excited to watch it mm-hmm. because I think even more so on video, it, it, it was very successful in the theater, but it was even more successful on video cassette. And I just feel like it was one of those like cool movies that everyone sees. You, like mm-hmm. It's like so cool. And, you know, and, um, and I think to be at that point, I was what, 17 years old. Actually, my birthday is February 20th. So I, I had turned 17 three days after this movie wow so um but yeah but i started on vhs so it was a little bit later but i i uh, was really excited to watch it and i didn't like it (laughs) (laughs) i just thought it was like what didn't you like um you know what it is i didn't like bill and ted i just felt like um i didn't relate to them in any way shape or form i can see that and we were essentially the same age so Mm -hmm. it's like you know, you, you should feel some common ground. Right. And I was like, oh, I just don't, I don't know these characters at all. I don't know. I don't really, I can't even think of people. And you never really that. knew anybody like that? No, I mean, that. I will say this. At Brock and I, I really, like, I will say, like, I've said this before on this podcast, like, I was, it was this weird thing where I was part of the drama club, but I was also, um, you know, I mean, essentially just different. And I think, like, the head, and the headbangers would meet in the staircase mm-hmm. in the morning, and I, my closest friends to this day, Carrie, Julie, Jen, like they were essentially headbangers. And so they absorbed me into that crew and everyone was like, was so nice. Like, sure. And so I think it's, but I think it's like part, but it's not. And even though Bill and Ted are like these heavy metal rocker guys, right. they're not really headbangers. No, they, they don't have that same they're more almost, attitude. Yeah, they're almost more like surfer dudes. Surfer bro. dudes. Yeah, yeah. I get, yes, definitely. And so I just didn't relate and I and I maybe and I think maybe expectations were too high but how about you sure I know that happens to me with the expectations I remember that happened with um history of the world part one with Mel Brooks oh and everybody was talking about how hilarious it was and I'm like oh my gosh I can't wait to see it I can't wait to see it and I was truly disappointed and I think that it was because so many people talked about it and they were you know they described the scenes so you I don't know Uh, and so I was just like oh like I was just so I was just disappointed because of the hype. So anyway, back to Bill and Ted. (laughs) I also, this was also a rental for me. I think it just bodes well as a rental, Mm -hmm. right? Because it's more of like a relaxed kind of tone, easy. You're not really analyzing too much of this movie. And I did like it. I thought it was funny. I probably related to them a little bit better than you did. Not that I'm a surfer dude or anything, but I knew people like that. We had this friend, Michael Jarvis. <laughs> oh, my God. Hello, Michael, if you're out there. Wow. And he was so... Him and his friend Darren, I feel like they were like Bill and Ted, just in the way that they related to each other. Oh, okay. And actually, my friend Lauren listens to this, and she knows <laughs> she knows Mike. The way that they acted towards each other. Yeah. It, it just reminded me of that. So I had people in my life that were like them. And I just thought it was funny. It was so unique. I don't know if I loved, loved it, but I liked it. I thought it was funny. 
And it surprised me. I didn't know how it was going to end. I didn't know what was going to happen. And I really enjoyed the the Napoleon parts when he was like lost in the mall. Oh, I mean, the the, water park. eating the yeah. ice cream and all that kind of stuff. That all that silliness, I really liked. Yeah, yeah. So I liked it. I liked yeah. it. I don't know if I've start from beginning to end since then. Oh yeah, I, this I definitely rewatch. have not. But yeah. I think maybe it's been on, and if it had been on, I'd like probably keep it on. Oh, okay. It's easy to have. Yeah, it's like easy, easy viewing for sure. So when did you rewatch it? I rewatched it. I believe it was maybe last weekend okay. or so. It's been about a week, and I watched it with my family. So nice. as you know, I always try to watch these things with my family, yes. and. It never happens, so I end up watching it almost on like Tuesday morning. And this time we grabbed Emily. So Emily took AP history. Okay. She's oh, wow. sixteen. Yeah. And I'm like, I think she's gonna like it just because she knows the people. Yeah, in it. yeah. And I'm not even sure I knew all the people in it when yeah. I saw her for the first time. <laughs> but um but I'm like, I think that she'll appreciate just like the history part of it. Yeah. And she did. And we watched it together and she thought it was funny. So a lot of these eighties movies she just does not find funny because yeah. the humor is just so different. But she enjoyed this one. And um, and I have to say, I forgot a lot about it. But it was nice kind of revisiting because I forgot so much about it. It was just like a little bit unpredictable. I forgot. I mean, I knew some of the people that he, they bumped into, but I forgot yeah. how they did it. I forgot how much time they spent with everybody. I thought they spent more time mm-hmm. at these places. Yeah. But they really don't. They no. go, they grab the guy, throw him in the phone booth, and be yeah. done. I would so, also argue they don't, they're not bumping into people. They're kidnapping them. They're kidnapping yeah, them, they're yes. Kidnapping they are kidnapping people. us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Temporarily, I think. But, well. <laughs> anyway. But it was, it was a good rewatch for me because of that. The fact nice. that I didn't really You made it a family a And we made it a family event. thing. And yes. Nice. Uh, what about you? When did you rewatch it? How nice to have a family. Oh, I'm If sorry. that's what you were getting at, Christina. I'm very sorry that you are alone. <laughs> I have Carl, oh, yeah. and I have my cats. And your cats. Um, and by the way, you have exactly one whole child more than me. So stop <laughs> acting like you're such a mother. Um, I also have a dog and a guinea pig. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Christina, this movie is has has a very special place in my old roommate's experience. What? Yeah. It is the absolute worst revisit I've ever revisited since oh we started. Gosh. I can't say a single note without being a negative Nelly. Wow. This move, this was so painful. And by the way, I was like, you know what? Now that I'm older, I myself have may or may not have partaked in a handful of drugs here and there. Interesting. And so maybe perhaps like because I've had those zoned out moments, dude, that maybe perhaps I would find some of this more enjoyable and perhaps more relatable and like, <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. My last note in my notes is, it is like- I didn't laugh once i didn't wow. laugh i found this to be so painful oh it's 90 gosh. minutes it's 90 minutes christina i swear to god 10 of those minutes are scenes of that phone booth sparkling and fritzing the original part of the movie was like two and a half hours oh. and they had an hour but to your point they don't spend much time in these things no I, they're not learning shit i'm really sorry they're doing this for to save themselves, this grades, so they can be in the band and blah blah, blah so he's not being sent off to the army or whatever. What is this project? What is this report? In fact, even the big pinnacle moment at the end, all those guys are talking about is their like aspirations and what almost what they've learned, not even what Bill and Ted have learned. I find But they this... introduce them and they're like, Joan of Arc, because they do say a little bit. That's kind of one of my notes. They never have a conversation with these people, so they're not, they aren't learning, correct? Yes. But for the report, they introduce them and they'll say things about, oh, you know, Joan of Arc, she was a badass and she mm-hmm. fought in the war and all this kind of stuff. But so she, he, they say stuff about her and then they introduce her and she does her thing. But my question was like, when did they learn about this? I thought the report was fine, the way that they did it, okay. but it was—it didn't make sense. Oh, yeah, go figure. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it didn't. Okay. Wow, there is venom <laughs> coming from this man's it's mouth. It's such a waste of time. And this movie, I know that it had two sequels. I didn't see either of them. 
Um, one was very recent, actually. Yes. Yeah. Right, did, you see, did you see it? Yeah. No, I wanted yeah. to because I was just so curious about it. But no, I never saw those. And listen, I have sung the praises of Keanu Reeves more than once in this you podcast. Sure have. Point Break. So Where he was another surfer guy, right? Yeah, Speed. <laughs> I mean, not too dissimilar from Ted. Keanu has that sort of walk on that type of thing in the 80s and 90s. But I, you know what? Here's my big issue. These characters are, uh, what what are they? Dumb, stoned, what? I don't think, I. you never see them do drugs or talk about drugs. You don't. I think they're just party guys. Party. Like, you know, party, uh, you know, yeah. like just they're, they're, they're interest, goof around. Their interests lie elsewhere. Yes. But they want to start of, a band, but it's not even that good. Yeah. But at the end, they do learn that, right? They say, we should yes, probably learn right. how to play. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Bill <laughs> says that. Bill's actually right. much, it seems much brighter than Ted, <clears throat> which I never, I didn't notice that before. Yes. My big issue, and this is just run fill my notes, is that because they are, say, because their interests lie elsewhere, and they're maybe not the best communicators, there's a speed at which they speak that is so damaging to the comedic timing that in fact, even when they're done with their quote unquote jokes, they also pause as if the, they're waiting for the audience to laugh. And then they go into the next thing. Hmm. I found this movie to be so painful. Here are some of the gems. Here are the gems. Okay. It's a history report, not a babe report. Christina, stop. You're just ma- now you're just making I'm yourself la- laugh. I'm laughing at your impersonation. How about this? He puts on the suit of armor. They both do. They bump into each other. Who turned out the lights? Yeah, I know. Oh cool. my God, help me. Those are all my notes. No, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but it was, I mean, it's really saying something. This is, I mean, how many episodes have we had? 260? Something This is that, yeah. the worst revisit in the entire all five years we've been doing this. Oh, wow. I'm not kidding. It was that painful. And I wasn't in a bad mood. I was in a fine mood. Did it you was watch like, it? With, was Carl with you? you no. Watch it? No. And maybe if it was on at a party, you know, where it's a group of things. Like, your, for example, your family night. Sure. Like, I feel like with, maybe with an audience, it, it does better. But, you know, a movie has to stand up when one person watches it or 50 people are watching it. Right. And this was painful. Wow. How'd you feel about it? I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to splice. I loved it. In the, ah, the entire, no. <laughs> the entire episode. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. So, okay. So but I was please, I definitely not yeah. as passionate. I actually enjoyed this revisit, which yeah. is so, it's so funny. These like completely, I mean, I didn't love No, it, yeah, you said you didn't But love I it, enjoyed yeah. it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was funny. At parts, I liked like kind of their, I don't know. I just liked their positivity. I liked the funny part about it was that they end up becoming the rulers of yeah. the universe. And oh, actually, I, I actually wrote down. Which that was very heavy handed. That whole sequence. Oh, the end. Well, no, when they're with um. Oh, that whole yeah, like yeah, like, when, when they're the all middle? doing the, the the hand movement. Yeah, that was like, stupid. That was that stupid. Was, I don't think that was, was even taken necessary. way too seriously. But I'm gonna I'm gonna read what George Carlin. So George Carlin yeah. was kind of like their I don't know, mentor. He was good. Yeah, he, he was, was good. good. Yep. But at the end, you find out, and I don't think it's ruining anybody. <laughs> he says, you know, eventually your music will help put an end to war and poverty, and it will align the planets into universal harmony, allowing meaningful contact with all forms of life from extraterrestrial beings to common household pets. And it's excellent for dancing. So I think it was really funny that they're stupid. Yeah. Um, childlike innocence. Childlike. Yeah. They're idiot. Idi- I idiocy. Christina's battle is some real allergy. Right. Pollen is not her friend. If they are not my friend, I took, yeah. I took a drug. So party on. Um, (laughs) so no i think that the fact that they are idiots and just care about partying and stuff and the fact that they end up like saving the universe i thought that was really funny i thought that was the funny part of it like oh my gosh that's funny but anyway but and i also like the fact that it was like very kind of unique in that they're going back in time and grabbing these people and just so for me The two of them together weren't the funniest part. Okay. I felt the other people that they picked up, the Jesse James, the 
Um, well, Napoleon, and I agree. Napoleon, Napoleon was, is the I think the best character. He was yeah. so funny. Just yeah. his the bowling and the eating ice cream. Ziggy Piggy. And just yeah. Ziggy, <laughs> the Ziggy Piggy. I just think he was really really funny throughout the whole thing. Mm. And then just like the relationships between the historical figures and all that, I thought they were funny. But yes, I can kind of see where you come from. I it's a very passionate stance you're taking. I'm a little bit. You think it should be easier on this movie because it's a comedy? No, I don't think anything. I don't think that. I'm just surprised. I'm just surprised at how passionate you are about it. About it being the worst movie ever. The worst revisit ever. Worst oh, revisit trust ever. me, I've seen worse movies. Um, <laughs> so let's yeah, start. Yeah, let's just please, let's kind start. of dive in then. Yeah. I did not have any kind of recollection of the start. I completely forgot about all of that. Like, how is it that they are going into the yeah. past? All of that stuff. And I think part of it too is. It's so outlandish. All of it is so outlandish. You kind of have to just be like, all right, fine. This is what they're doing. Yeah, like, totally. This is just what oh, they're yeah. doing. Yeah. So I think there's a little bit of forgiveness for me anyway in that. And it's a little easier to like let go of some of that. There's also an enthusiasm, I mm-hmm. think, that runs throughout the movie that it helps you throw yourself into this way of thinking. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I will say one of my negatives is the stepmom. I mean, it's funny in a way. Right. Because it's obviously she's two years older than Bill. And, you know, he's he has to call he has to call her mom. And she's obviously just like a teenager. But the whole like oogling her and good. Good. Oh my god, him having sex with her in the bed in their bedroom. All of that was a little bit ick. Yeah. I think they could have left it a little bit like she's trying to be the mom. And he has to call her mom. Like, that yeah, would have been yeah, funny. Yeah, that would have been just fine. To just Not like leave it like that. But the whole sexual deviant, thing, yeah. looking down her shirt and stuff, I yep. didn't really love that. Nope. And then, oh, and then Ted saying, hey, remember when I asked you to the prom? <laughs> that kind of stuff kind yeah. of made me giggle. Yeah. If you're us, what number are we thinking of right now? 69, dude. <laughs> Which I think is from the trailer, actually. Probably, yeah, yeah I, I remember it. Quite the joke for a movie trailer. Yes, yeah. very funny, very funny. Reach out and touch someone that it's like an AT and T joke, which yep, is kind of funny. Yep. One thing that was redeeming about him, what them was, they were at least trying. So probably a little too little too late, but they realize that they're gonna get kicked out of school. You know, they're gonna fail, and Ted's gonna have to go to military school. And I appreciate the fact that at least they had the books open. They were trying to study. They were trying to figure this out. I didn't really remember that part. I thought they were just blowing everything off. But they mm. actually did have that desire to to do well on this report. Yeah, they did. Yes. I think it was more pressure to do. Well, yes, of course. But they also, they tried. They could have just blown it off and been like, oh, well. You I'm are doing. such a teacher. <laughs> There I said um, it. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> and wow. you are such a movie critic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Socrates quoting uh, the, the intro to Jason Oh my Rock gosh, is yeah, my gosh, yes. A show that Christine and I famously watched together yes, when we were yes. roommates. And what's funny is Matt remembered that and he's, because he said something, Socrates said something first. And he's like, wait, what about, I thought he was going to say, and then he said it. He's like, oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. So yes, like sands through the hourglass, (laughs) so are the days of our lives. So funny. Dude. Yeah. So I just had that whole, the flying through time business, like did not spend much time at each place. I would have really liked to have had just a few minutes at each place and maybe not so many people. Like, I feel like there were a lot of different people. I feel like they didn't have to go into the future to see them. I think at the end, it would have been more effective if we didn't see that middle part. It wasted too much time, even for like an hour and a half. Yeah. Wasted too much time. And if they had spent just a little bit, and then that's where they had their learning. Yeah. Right? Is that what you were kind of getting yeah, to I earlier? Yeah, because Christian, I had that same note. Or why yeah. did they even have to go to the future? It was such a waste of time. Yeah. Or a waste of time. It's so weird because you have this premise that... Could have been really cool, mm-hmm. but they don't really learn anything. They're kind of like, and to your point, they're like hopping, 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 and trying to grab as many people as they can. They're there for five can. minutes. Yeah. Not even five Not, minutes. I wouldn't even say five minutes. I would minutes, say two yeah. minutes. Yeah. When, I guess the Jesse James one was a little bit longer because they had that scene of like playing cards and things like that, but that was like a long scene. Yeah. For these 
adventures. Yeah. Yeah, and they could have also, to be honest, they could have done without all the uh, the chores, like them doing Ted's housekeeping. Like, I yes, that was stupid. That was stupid. That didn't. Yeah, it wasn't necessary. It was not. I don't see why it's supposed to be funny, but you know, it's like. But it's not really that. You know what I kept thinking is like, if this movie was made today, or again, I have not seen the sequels, but if this specific plot and like you had like really big name stars like say you had if say if you had Joaquin Phoenix Joaquin Phoenix just played Napoleon what if you had Joaquin sure. Phoenix as Napoleon in this like where there's some gravitas to this that way it's, it would be funny to see or Meryl Streep as you know so, so, somebody but like what if you had those level actors doing housework that would in their funny. period garb and all this kind of stuff with their accents and sophisticated performances like yes. that would be humorous yes but this was just like i mean it's just you know come on it's well and i think that's why i liked napoleon the best because he was i think most in character he is very much in character right yeah and the other ones we have which i thought was funny well in the background of billy the kid and socrates tossing a football back and forth i thought that was really funny just watching that like Mm -hmm. it was just random funny yeah but the other ones, I don't know, you just didn't really... Like, Joan of Arc, did you even talk? Did they even talk? No, I know. And you know who that is? Jane Weedlin from the Go-Go's. Oh, yes, yeah. I did know that, yes. Um, and she was also um, in Clue as the bell. Remember, I am your oh same telegram. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, what's really funny, that. though, what's really funny, so I'm on Letterboxd. I think I really love that app. But I was reading some reviews. I usually watch the movie and I, you know, and I have my own, I wrote my, all my notes and then it's like, I go and to Letterboxd. And then you Box. copy all the others? No, 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 because I feel like these, I feel like there's a lot of kids on Letterboxd and I swear to the number of reviews that say, oh my God, Winona Ryder as Joan of Arc was great. I'm like, Winona Ryder? Guys, can you not read the credits? Um, when she showed up on screen, Matt said, <laughs> is that Winona Ryder? And both Emily and I were like, no, that's all. <laughs> but yeah, well, she looks a lot her, like her. Emily would know with her Beetlejuice love. Emily had a Winona Ryder obsession for a few oh, because good... she likes Stranger Things as well. Oh, okay, yeah, I can. I think a Winona Ryder obsession is a good thing. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, Winona Ryder is very great, iconic. But um, I thought that was so funny. Like people write like Winona Ryder. I'm like, it's Jane Wheatland from Go Go. That's really really funny. And then the princess, Diane Franklin. From oh, from Better, Better Off, Off Dead. Dead. Yes. Surprise. Um, they hug and they call each other fag after. Don't know if that was necessary. Um, so, and as soon as they said that, Matt's like, oh. Yeah. He's like, that was like, and then at the end, he he's like, you know, that one line just ruined it. <laughs> I'm like, good for you, buddy. <laughs> um, Dude, you totally boned that guy in the head. Total bonehead. Come on. Does Iron Maiden excellent execute them bogus mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that was kind of funny i do have the napoleon eating ice creams laughing ziggy piggy the bowling the water park the I water mean, park napoleon the water park i did enjoy that and i still didn't laugh but when he was cutting people line, oh my that, god running up just the, the idea of that is just is throwing the kids away. oh like, yeah and then, and then he's like talking to the girl like no yeah. i'm going first like it was very very yeah i thought he's he was and i remembered after the fact i remembered him being like the highlight of of it before for yeah. me too. So definitely the highlight, Candy Graham, Abe Lincoln. It's weird. I have like all these random words. Were you high? I'm not even <laughs> high. <laughs> Candy Graham. I don't remember. I, Abraham Lincoln. I do remember. Oh wait, was it? Was it? It must have been. In is the that mall. how they got him to open the door? Candy Graham. Oh, it was like Candy Graham, and they just grab him because there's a point where they just start grabbing. That's people. exactly what it was. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, they they yeah they knock on the candy gram. But because like, you know one thing in that you haven't touched touched upon is the special effects of the booth, and then they're going in all the tunnels of time. I feel like you are much more critical of special effects than I am. Yes, even because this is nineteen eighty nine. Mm-hmm. Their special effects existed, and I felt like that was among the more uh, cringy parts for me. Were like, oh god, it's like because I, I almost feel like they. Yeah. Think, I think the filmmakers think it looks good. And I don't, I don't remember it looking good in 89. See, what's funny is I disagree with you. I oh. don't think the movie makers 
thought it looked good. I feel like the whole thing was cheesy, and I think it was intentionally cheesy. I felt we spent so much, way too much time looking at this phone booth spritzing and sparking. I mean, it had like a coat hanger on the top. Yeah. I just feel like it was supposed to be cheesy and silly looking. All right. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's the direction of it, but I just, I didn't, and to me it was like, I feel like they think this, these are good special effects. Hmm. Very weird. I was surprised. Because the special effects at the end weren't that bad. No, I agree. I also think the battle scene with Napoleon, when we meet Napoleon, that could have been all spliced together from other footage, who knows? Yep. But I did think that was, like, effective. I was like, you know yes, what, I'm I buying think, this. I agree, yeah. I yeah. agree. Yeah, so I feel like the other stuff, they put a lot of effort in. That's why I felt like they purposely made it cheesy. I don't know, I just, for some reason, I got that feeling. Yeah, okay. But I mean, clearly, we both thought we're it was dis- cheesy. Yeah, I think, feel like we're disagreeing a bit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just a teensy bit. Uh, believe it or not, I have no other notes. <laughs> no more notes. I wrote, there sure are a lot of cops at that mall. They got in trouble. Yeah. Every single one of them got in trouble at one oh, point in time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there were like five cops arresting every single one of them. How many cops work at this mall? Yeah, true. Well, I mean, malls were busy back then. But yes. um, I also was confused why Napoleon was thrown out of the bowling alley. But what about Deacon? I don't know. Like, yeah. Napoleon was thrown out. But, like, I think Deacon was as problematic and troublesome. Yeah, probably. I don't know, he didn't act alone. Mall shenanigans. Excuse yeah, me. I wrote Q Chaos. What did you think about... So all everybody gets arrested, all the historical people get arrested. Mm-hmm. And they have to figure a way to get them out of jail. And they start talking about, if only we could go back in time and leave keys somewhere. Well, wait, we have a time machine. So... Let's do that. Let's go back in time and we'll hide the keys. I actually liked that part. I thought that was kind of cute and funny. Mm -hmm. But so basically they say, okay, we'll have to remember to go back in time and get the keys and hide it behind. So then they find the keys. And then he's like, oh, I guess I had, I guess I took the keys after all. All of that I thought was really, really funny. They went a little bit too much. They just relied on it too much. I think it would have been more effective if they just did it the one time. Yeah. But I thought it was cute and clever. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> like okay <laughs> oh and the other thing that i just did not appreciate was at one point they're in the school and it must have been during the presentation when jesse james i was oh sorry it was billy the kid billy the kid had the gun and shot in the school I'm like, oh, oh that did not. Yeah, I had, yeah. That did not translate too. well for me. Yeah. Middle-aged lens, for sure. Me neither. And aside from that, I had my last quote that I already read. Which so, was? Which was the whole, eventually your music will end up oh, yeah. stopping the war and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, for me, it was funny. I enjoyed the revisit because I enjoyed watching it with Emily and Matt. But also I enjoyed... Just some of the stuff that I forgot, like especially the Napoleon thing. And it was just, I don't know, it was just so fluffy. Like yeah, it was, you're... I, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it was anything that I could be too passionate about. It was just too fluffy for me. Interesting. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because I was thinking, like, oh, even about him, we reviewed Strange Brew. And Strange yes. Brew is not too dissimilar. They go on an adventure. They're Correct. Kinda, they're sort of dumb characters. Yeah, I think I didn't like that when it got too serious with, like, the, the stormtrooper people right, and, all, yes, and that yes, very yes. heavy plot. The plot was so heavy. Was this heavy, plot yes. is, is so light, it's too light. And, it, and I almost hated it more. It was very strange. And, very I, and I should have liked it more because it was so light. It was so light. You're not wrong about the tone and the lightness, mm-hmm. but you are wrong about everything else. <laughs> um, so the budget here... Oh, wait. More... <laughs> <laughs> more less or about the same i am visit. gonna say about the same oh really okay. yeah i am gonna, cause I like, gonna I mean, say more yeah i felt a little bit no no not more definitely not more but okay. i think about the same because I, I feel like i had the same attitude watching it and i felt the parts that i found were funny i still found funny okay it was just yeah sort of the same all right mine's obviously less are you sure did you want to think about that we'll wait till the roomy awards I don't this, have to win uh, the uh, Rumi Awards. I already know. Uh, uh, budget was ten million dollars. The box office was forty million. Made a ton of money. Wow. Very successful. The sequels, Bogus Journey ninety one and Face the Music twenty twenty. It spawned an animated series. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, but that's right. And even Bill and Ted's excellent breakfast cereal. <laughs> What a fun time to be young. Yeah. All, all the crazy cereals. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh, boy. All right. I have a match game. Oh, I also have a match game. Why don't you go find first? It. All right. I wrote this. I was half asleep when I wrote it, so I apologize if it's <laughs> strange. Bill and Ted's Time Machine was pretty excellent, but it took a very dark turn when they accidentally typed in the wrong number and ended up in the middle of blank. Very dark turn. This is aw- I hate you. Why do you do this to me? Make sure it matches. Ding. Wow. So he was writing furiously and then... I scribbled it out. Scribbled it out and just wrote a two-letter yeah. answer. All right. So Bill and Ted's Time Machine was excellent, but it took a very dark turn when they typed in the wrong number and it ended up in the middle of... Nazi Germany. Ooh. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. I said the Holocaust. Oh, okay. So I think I, that would be it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Because I wrote, originally wrote German concentration camp and I crossed a concentration camp and I wrote Nazi Germany. I love it. So that's, it's, a match. it's all the same. Okay. It's definitely. Yay. 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 Okay. I have mine. Ready? Mm-hmm. It's much, much more innocent. The heavy metal loving Bill and Ted are actually okay as world leaders and naturally being heavy metal lovers for their first lady, they picked blank. So it's funny. All right, I'm gonna put it down because okay. I think you'll get it, but they don't get it. No. Yeah, I think I know. I think I know. I think. All right. All right. Ding. Ding. All right. Heavy metal loving Bill and Ted. They picked blank as their first lady. Oh, I'm going to change it. I'm oh, changing it. Okay. Joan Jett. Damn it. I had two answers in either one. So I picked, I went with Tawny Katane. Oh, From yeah. the um, White Snake videos. And the, my second one was Lita Ford. Lita Ford is damn, who I wrote down. Damn, 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 damn. We both started with our second. Like, if we I'm both went with our Lita, second answer. I'm writing down Lita Ford. I'm like, Lita. Did you think really? I wouldn't know who Lita Ford is? I went to a party last Saturday night. Couldn't get late. I used to love that duet fight. she had uh-huh. with. Remember Ozzy Osbourne? Um, that duet. Oh she my had. god, it's, it's one of my favorite songs. If I close my eyes forever. Oh, oh such so a good, good. That's such a good song. Such a good song. Well, friends, I'm Christina. How did you watch Bill and Ted's? Excellent I adventure? rented it from the library. How did you watch it? I think I also did. I think I yeah. I think I also did. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, I mean, the real world screwed me. So I feel like, regardless, I'm going to get all of them. And if it's somewhere else, fine. But And it's funny, when you were talking about your passionate hated this revisit, Yeah, I felt the same way about the real world last, last week. Wow. Because, yeah. yeah, you're so bored, you said. Ago. Wow. It wasn't even hate. It was the painfulness of it. It was so painful sitting there and watching. I felt like I was being punished. That's how I felt about this. Yeah. That's so interesting. Anyway. All right. Well, that that was um, Bill Bill and Ted's Excellent Excellent Adventure. Adventure. And that's it for us and for this episode of Old Roommates. Thank you for listening. Please remember to follow us on Instagram or YouTube where we have our episodes as well as a little extra. And if you have any questions about our show, any suggestions for movies we could revisit, reach out to us at oldroommatespod at gmail.com. Thanks again for listening. This is Brian. And this is Christina. Until next time.